Hello, and welcome to Time Drops. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to set up and configure the Time Drops buttons. The buttons are interchangeable, but each one has a unique serial number. Each button must be assigned to a specific lane in the pool. To do this, I go to the menu and select Manage Buttons. This screen has a right side, where I can see which button is assigned to which lane. The left side shows any buttons that are not assigned yet. To identify each button, it is attached to a color-coded lanyard with the lane number written on it. I push the button to turn it on, and it will appear in the unassigned buttons area. To clearly identify the button, I push and hold it, until the icon on the screen becomes highlighted. Once the button is highlighted, I drag the icon and drop it into the position that matches the label on the lanyard. I repeat this for the other buttons in lane 1. I click Save to transmit the assignments to the STC-1 controller. The controller will connect to the buttons and start calibrating them. The assignment can be done in any order. Just press and hold the button until the icon highlights, then drag the icon into the position that matches the label. The gray background indicates that a changed assignment has not been saved yet. Once I click Save, the gray background disappears. I will speed up the rest of the lanes. The last item to set up is the start adapter. The start adapter normally turns on automatically when you use your swim starter. Here, I turn the adapter on by placing a metallic object across the banana plugs. I drag the adapter icon into the first starter position. I can set up another button as a backup starter in case the swim starter fails. If I don't have a swim starter, I can drag the start button into the first position to become the primary starter. Back on the main screen, I can see that a race has been started at the moment I switched on the adapter. I click false start to stop it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.